Valira versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Watch your back. Okay, don't want Banish, don't want Sonya. Ideally, you want your unconditional card draw. So cold lights aren't good, band knives, and shiny finders are. So the many synergies in this deck, Thaldori Strider and Cold Light Oracle is one of the one of the ones I appreciate a little bit more because being able to summon them on your turn from your card plays rather than randomly at the start of your turn so many options. gives you a little bit more of a tempo boost when it comes down to it. It makes it such that the Cold Light Oracle by itself granted more power with the three mana you invested into it. by providing more tempo in the form of the spiders. Secret agent coming through. Need my shiny finders or my king's bane for this to work. Although if we can make it to Valera, that will suffice. Here we go. There's the King's Bane I wanted. Alright, now if he has the intelligence to go face. Oh, nope. He's still trying to control me, tempo style. Which probably won't work out for him in the long run. Hand is too full. See, so he has stronger tempo swings than he does with cards like File Spine Slayer. You wish to live. So what he should be doing is trying to pressure to my face while he still has a chance. Instead he's trying to control me, which isn't going to work out for him in the long run. Hmm, actually... Nah. It would be really nice if I could keep this Vile Spine Slayer because a turn 10, Valera the Hollow, a turn 9, Valera the Hollow, ho followed by a turn 10, Backstab, uh, Vile Spine, Shadow Vile Spine is a very powerful sequence of events. But unfortunately, I cannot go. reasonably risk that sequence of events. I need to stop the tempo right now. I can't let it accumulate too much. Next turn, however, whatever he plays down, I'll just let be. If I'm lucky, I'll even draw a vanish to the this turn or next turn. Oh, what's this one do? Mind control, 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 mind control. Eh, whatever works. Hmm, not good. Yeah, so if I vanish right now, this dies and then summons any dragons he has in his hand, which isn't great. If I have prep, I would prep vanish and then vanish again, Death but I don't. Gross. So here's what I'm going to do instead. He has no spells left in his deck, which means he has mind controls in his hand, which I am pretty okay with. Okay. Now, things 
aren't looking great. Oh shoot. No, come on, you punk. Oh no. Oh! I'm okay! I'm okay! You... <sighs> he went so quickly that I was worried. I was worried that he was making a choice really, really fast. And that would have been bad. But I'm fine. Everything is fine. What a great day! Now, if mind control is the best thing you could do last turn, then I don't think I have to worry about lethal this turn. Thank you, Sonya. You're such a such a good card, but only in this circumstance. This guy leave two. Nope, he did not. So even two Sonyas never last. Okay. All right. So, what are our lessons from today? First off, Sonya is very strong in a deck that can enable lots of different combinations, such as this deck. But really, she isn't very useful in other circumstances. For example, when you just want to play a 3-drop, she is absolutely useless. To that end, she is best in a deck that requires a lot of card draw to support it with, and Cold Light Oracle is very powerful in a deck like that because it can provide that card draw that enables it to be supportive, and for combination cards such as Sonya and everything tied to King's Bane to get even stronger. On top of that, many other cards in here are in this deck are powerful when used only in the circumstances that are best for them. For example, Deadly Poison is only useful when you have a King's Bane and when you have Valera, um, specifically the Death Knight Valera. Otherwise, it's not very useful. Doomerang is only useful when you have a powerful weapon. Preparation is only useful when you have a spell that is can be used in front of it. Combination cards are only useful when you have played something before you have played it. So, the key behind this particular deck is synergy. Every card in this deck, with the exception of perhaps Backstab, and you could argue, argue Vile Spine... Every card in this deck is very weak on its own. Even Vilespine. Even Vilespine is very weak without another card to assist it. The strongest cards in this deck without the need of other cards are Backstab and Vanish. And that's about it. Valir is useless unless you have other cards. Vilespine's useless unless you have other cards. Valdori Strider's okay, Van Knives is also okay by itself. But in the end, the majority of these cards sap as well. The majority of these cards are only powerful used in conjunction with one another, and that is why this deck can be a lot of fun, mixing and matching these different combinations. But at the same time, it's not going to exceed, because if you don't manage to put the combinations together, you won't be able to get the work together. You won't be able to get it all to fit together. So, lessons? Combinations are good, but you need to have your combinations on the backs of very strong cards that are able to carry you 
in multiple circumstances, such as backstab, fan of knives, and you could argue file spine, and of course vanish. But if you get a combo going, that's when you manage to see things such as Sonya, South Sea Squidface, and Kingsbane all work together in a way that's quite remarkable. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. Hope you enjoyed this particular new take. I'll see about releasing more videos like this. Don't worry, I'll still be releasing Hearthstone Theory on a regular basis. And yeah, class dismissed. <laughs>